Alright, welcome LEGO fans to another LEGO book review. And I basically just told you the name of the book that we'll be reviewing today. Because, well, this kind of looks like a textbook, doesn't it? It's very thick. Um, it look, looks kind of boring from this angle. But of course, we're not reviewing any textbooks today because this is a Bill Brick of Nine's channel. We don't review textbooks here, we review LEGO books. And today we are reviewing the Lego book called, well, the Lego book. So this is kind of like the essential guide, and I do believe that there's a newer version available now, a little revised and updated, I don't have that just yet. So if I do get my hands on that, I will review that one. But for the moment, I'll be reviewing this one. So... It's kind of like two books in one. We get a thick book and a thin book. So, ah, I'm trying to get them out, but here's the sleeve, which you kind of already saw. Oops. So we get some Lego bricks on the cover. There's the side. So that's the second book that we get. It's all about the Lego minifigure. There's the back. I'll go ahead and zoom in. So if you want to pause that and read that, go ahead. Some pictures. So, there's your sleeve. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the actual Lego book. So, Lego bricks, of course, for the inside page. More Lego bricks, a Lego brick. So, here's your table of contents. Kind of starts out with a history of Lego. Uh, the Lego minifigure, Lego logo. And then it gets into the actual themes. First of all, we have like non-licensed themes. We have Lego City, Castle, Space Police, Adventure. I don't even remember that. I know what it is, but it was before my time. New Islands, New Adventures. That sounds interesting. Lego Duplo. Fabuland. I don't remember that. Then we get into to the licensed themes. And of course, this is a little outdated, so we are missing some of the licensed themes. Most importantly, Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. We do have Star Wars here, but of course, it's out of date. Indiana Jones, Batman, Harry Potter, Nickelodeon, that is old, and Disney even. I think I've heard rumors that we might actually be getting more LEGO Disney sets. Then it tells you about the theme parks, and then just some more specialized stuff like gigantic LEGO sets. Uh, Lego.com, clubs, all that good stuff. So here we kind of see like some very old Lego products before it even looks like Lego, especially like those. And then here we have like flat trees. Um, trucks. Here it's starting to look like Lego. You can have some printed bricks in there, so that's a little modern. So this is like really old Lego. You're building stuff that looks flat and somewhat unrealistic, but still very cool. Parking garage or something there, that looks pretty neat. Towers, houses, all that good stuff. No, I'm not gonna analyze it page by page. So here we have a nice timeline telling you about the history of Lego. Here's the famous duck, the Lego wooden duck. The Lego group's first construction toy and recently, LEGO made a LEGO set that looked just like this and handed it out to their employees. So that was kind of neat. It's going to be very hard to get your hands on that and very expensive, so don't be looking for that at your local LEGO selling stores. Um, other non-LEGO looking toys, different languages. Trees and traffic safety town plan models. That's kind of neat looking. So some more timelines here. But let's go ahead and skip designing a Lego set. That looks pretty neat. Uh, they kind of take it by castle theme and technic theme. So I'm sure some of you will enjoy looking at that. All the different Lego logos we've seen over the years. Some of them are very obsolete. We wouldn't even recognize it. Billund in Denmark. Of course, they don't say that anymore. And it only went up to 1998, but that does look very similar to what we have, so that might still be. Uh, let's go ahead and compare it, actually. 
here's the Lego Urukai army box. So there's what's on the box. And there's what's in the book. It looks exactly the same to my eyes. Tell me if I'm wrong in the comments, please. But I'm pretty sure that they are the same. They have been the same Lego since 1998. So that's saying quite a bit. And honestly, I think I should just keep it that way. So Lego City. Got some very old looking stuff. Deep Reef Refuge. That looks pretty cool. I'd like to get my hands on that set. Um, Lego City Airport. Look at some of these neat pieces that they're using. Um, just pretty recent looking. 2004, 2008. Uh, I reviewed this one from 2009. So these are considered sets to remember. So I'm glad they reviewed what the Lego book calls a set to remember. I like to get my hands on that set. That just looks really cool. Lego trains. Now, here we're getting some of the non licensed themes Lego Castle, Lego Kingdoms. More sets to remember from the castle themes. And Knight's Kingdom. That sounds vaguely familiar. Got some dragons there. So here's some more non-licensed themes. Space, Mars, Mission. Um, do they have that set that I reviewed on here? It does not look like they do. The little robot that I reviewed. They don't have it. Space Police. More sets to remember. They don't have the little robot on there. I guess it's not considered a set to remember. Pirates. Not Pirates of the Caribbean. I have this set, but it's falling apart. Same with that one. Now, I do have this set. Some of it is falling apart. The shark is intact. I believe this is intact, but this and this have fallen apart a little bit. So if I put those back together, I will review this set, because that is a cool set. Especially when you get the pretty cool flick missiles. Of course, they can't really be considered flick missiles. Uh, Lego Dino 2010, which was made in 2005. So I guess the Lego group thought that we would have dinosaurs back to life by 2010. Unfortunately, they were quite wrong. There's that one that I was telling you about, the Tiger Shark Attack. It does not come with this. This is a different set. Uh, that was Aqua Vaders. We got Lego Aqua Zone was another one. There's more like robots, though. Agents had a couple of those. One of them, I believe, is mostly intact, so I might review that. Power Miners, Racers, Duplo. I'm really curious though about that. Mindstorms. I do have a couple of Mindstorm sets that I would like to review soon. That is really cool. That would be awesome to have. And this is under the advanced building section. Let me just make sure. It doesn't look like I skipped the licensing. So yeah, this is Technic Super Models. That sounds imposing. NXT, that's the one that I have. Um, now here we get to the licensed themes. Of course it's incomplete. So we have Star Wars, Indiana Jones, that was an awesome set, I really wanted that set, but unfortunately I did not get that before it retired, so that is unfortunate. Batman, Harry Potter, you can see they're just devoting a page or two to each theme because they want to get to see just about everything. Nickelodeon, we got some odd looking Lego stuff here. Those are not even many figures, seriously. This is sad. Disney. That doesn't look like Lego minifigures either. Nor does it look like Lego pieces. So. Interesting, but weird. Here we get to the theme parks, park design. Uh, this is like a huge Lego model. 1 to 50 scale of Munich's famous soccer stadium, the Alliance Arena. I do not know anything about that. I'm sure a fan of the second would, but I do not. Discovery Centers, I'd like to check one of those out. I've never been to one. With the Lego video games, I don't spend too much time on that. Lego Universe, which of course is retired. Bricks on Films, here we get to Brick Films. They had some really cool stuff. They even had Lego Jurassic Park at one time. They could have done a lot more with that than they did, and they should update it. But they're not going to. That's a really cool set. It even came with its own camera. Of course, the awesome T-Rex, which is, this scene is kind of based off of the Lost World Jurassic Park. 
Jurassic Park 3, and there's one more with the Spinosaurus, which they do not have in here. But those are retired and expensive now. Fifty dollars for like what is it? Like seventy pieces or something. Lego chess special edition sets here. Uh, Lego Club, Lego Club magazine. Uh, fantasy and sci-fi. They have some really cool sets in here. Final Voyage with a Kraken. Double Trouble. We have some nasty looking goblins up here. Our dwarf here or there. And a giant toothed worm down here with another dwarf. And it looks like he wants to eat him. So that's really cool. Those might even be printed bricks. You never know. And finally get to the index and this creepy looking guy right here so that's pretty much it for the lego book if you have any questions about it please let me know and i'll try to answer them but i can't show you every single page because obviously it'll be a copyright issue and of course we do get the smaller book standing small a celebration of 30 years of the lego minifigure so got some giant minifigure heads some cool minifigures down here, Indians, Batman, Star Wars, Pirates, and 30 years of the Lego minifigure. Those are all old looking minifigures right there, especially this one and this one. But let's see, this was published in, if I can find it, oh uh, you know what, they usually save it for the back. There we go. 2009, made 30 years. So that is a really old looking minifigure right there, all yellow. Um, Indian Jones, Origins of the minifigure. So obviously that's very old looking right there. Lego family building figures. So this is kind of like the steps that the minifigure went through. Oh, they're prototypes. So that's the, none of them look quite right. But if you combine this one and this one, you get a Lego minifigure. That would be awesome to have a 14 karat gold C-3PO. I'm sure he's pretty heavy. And I'm sure he is very expensive. Um, the most expensive Lego minifigure ever made. Um, well, it's the 14 karat gold Star Wars 30th anniversary C-3PO, which is said to be worth at least $200. Only two were made. Wow, so if only two were made, I would think that they'd be worth a lot more than $200. I'm sure they are if you go on eBay. They might not even be on eBay if there was only two made. There's also sterling silver and bronze versions, even those would have been nice. This is the first miniature minifigure. Of course, you now have dwarves and hobbits, Ewoks, and the like. So we get our old looking minifigures here. Islanders. Pirates, space, more pirates, agents. Those are pretty cool looking minifigures. And. Oh, they don't have. Uh, I have that one. So, I can see him one day. Well, there's the Lego Dino Attack, and they actually include the T Rex in here as a minifigure. That's pretty cool. They don't have Lego Dino in here because this was made before that. Here's the Aqua Zone. That might be the one that I have, I'm not sure. It's one of these guys. Pretty sure it's not that one though. Power Miners, Underground, Exo Force, not familiar with that. Finally get to Star Wars, and they do feature a couple Lego sets in here, just not many. But they showcase a lot of minifigures. And of course there's that tiny Starlock. We have a much bigger one now. Exclusive Django Fett, of course you do have a new one now, but this one is still worth like $50 on eBay. Old Watto. So you get some some really cool minifigures on this page. Some Clone Wars stuff here, a little bit. Not too much though. Spider-Man. Lego NBA. All the way from 2003. So that is 10 years old now. I'm sure those are worth a lot. Avatar, Batman, Indiana Jones. I do have quite a few of these minifigures. Of course, everybody has that one. Got that one. Um, of 
course have lots of lots of these German soldiers and that one right there so I'd like it to those at some point there's a few more I don't have many of these I do have that one and that one so hopefully I'll re be reviewing those one day but as I like as I said I like to um, have them almost entirely complete Lego Speed Racer, I'm not familiar with that. Fan figures. That is one mean looking Abraham Lincoln right there. They got that wrong, I think. Mark Twain. Um, Benjamin Franklin. That's a pretty good Benjamin Franklin. Black Samurai, Red Samurai. Chinese guy. I didn't know that he was so famous. So I got some neat ones there. Lego Digital, that is old looking from 1998. Bionicle, of course, we're all familiar with these two. Here's some really old looking ones. So that's pretty much it for your Lego book review. Well, I guess I could say Lego books review because that was like two books in one. So we'll go ahead and give it a rating now and tell you what I think. So overall, it is a very good package deal. When I got retailed for $40, so you get two nice hardcover books and a sleeve to keep them in. So it's a pretty good deal. Um, my one concern is that there are no exclusive minifigures that come with this. Very disappointing. I don't care what it is, just give us an exclusive minifigure with every LEGO book that comes out or at least the ones that are actually licensed by LEGO. So it's gonna take my rating down a little bit. Also the fact that this is not entirely up to date. So first, well, it's, I guess I'll just, just begin at one rating since it is a book. So I will give it a seven. Um, the only reason it's not higher, like I said, no exclusive minifigure and it is outdated. But of course it's still a nice history of lego that's never going to change of course some of the retro sets in there you want to you want to know what those look like so that you can see some really cool things like i did just now some of the sets that i had forgotten about that look really cool and maybe you'd like to get your hands on those so this kind of jogs your memory a little bit and also the factor of nostalgia because we get to see the nice old lego sets and even non-lego lego things such as the wooden duck so a seven for the Lego book review. So thanks for tuning in. We do have a couple of book reviews on there by now. They're both Star Wars. I do have like one or two more Lego book reviews coming soon. So make sure you stay tuned for those. Happy building and we'll see you next time.